he's outgoing and funny, and um, he's a cool guy. He's a nice person. I've known Rudy since eighth grade, so I've been friends with him because he's just who he is. He's real, and he's unique, so he's different. That's why I like him. Rudy is very um, outgoing. He goes up to everybody, talks to everyone, and he's very friendly, and he's very... Um, he puts himself out there for everyone in his community service and in all his school activities. And this is a very fun person. He makes me laugh. He's like, what is this? <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Spontaneous. There you go. Very spontaneous. And it's very fun to be around. I think Rudy is uh, probably one of the coolest students I've ever met. Um, he is consistently very awesome. Um, I've known him since, I think, sixth grade about. And I like to laugh and joke a lot. Um, I try to be funny. <laughs> I try. Um, and, I don't know, my friends like me. <laughs> Rudy Camacho was recently awarded Youth of the Year, not only because he volunteers in the community, is a good musician and a good friend, but because he is a great student as well. I believe they chose me because I had a good resume. Um, when I sent them my resume, it had many things on it a lot of community activities and a lot of extracurricular activities and um, they could see that I had good grades and that I tried hard in school. I've always tried to do well in school because it helps me learn. I mean <laughs> school is there to help people learn and um, especially in high school um, it was the most important four years of my life because it set me up for college. I have a lot of perseverance even when things are hard I always try to do them right. Um, I'm very caring about everything that I do, and that goes hand in hand with the drive that I have. Um, I always give 150% to everything that I do. I used to play the drums for the choir at my church, and I also volunteered at the nursing home that my grandfather used to live in. And um, I would volunteer at the Stanford Historical Society. I try to volunteer myself um, for as many activities that call for musical accompaniment as possible because that's what I love to do. I love to perform. Well, volunteering makes me feel good because I'm not only doing something good for the community, but I'm doing what I love at the same time. The first time I played the drums was when I saw the movie Drumline, when Nick Cannon played the drums. I thought Drumline was really cool. Um, they did a lot of visual stuff with their sticks and they played cool notes and I wanted to do that. I wanted to be on a drum line and play the drums and throughout middle school I wanted it to be like that and it never was. And when, when I got to high school it was a lot better than that and I learned to play things that drum line has never seen. And A lot of people think I look like Nick Cannon. I mean, I kind of think I look like Rudy to be honest. The most important thing I've learned through music is to relax because sometimes people just try too hard. Like, sometimes I try too hard when I play music. I try too hard to produce a good sound or I try too hard to stay in time. When all you've got to do is just relax and let it happen, especially when you've been doing something for an elongated period of time, like I've been playing music. Sometimes I've just got to remember to relax and let it happen. And just being there on that floor was my first year out to Dayton, Ohio uh, for World Championships. Um, I've been there every year since then, but that year, it was like a door opening to me because I got to play in front of a great amount of people in the arena. Um, and just being there on that floor, knowing that it was the last time I would play that show, gave me a drive. And I've had that ever since, and I wanted to do it perfectly. And although I didn't do it perfectly, and neither did my peers around me, it was the best show that I've ever had, and it was the best show of that season, um, the best one of the year. And I think about that every time I play music because I want everything to be perfect, even though everything won't always be perfect. Well, I mean, I'd like to start uh, college uh, learning about jazz and and more about jazz drums and jazz in general because jazz is a foundation for all music because it's very diverse and there's many chords and many there's many things about jazz that 
um, people that don't play jazz don't really know. So I'd like to learn a lot more about that in college. I would probably like to teach high school if I taught at all because um, I don't know. It, it would probably be the easiest because I probably wouldn't have to teach kids how to produce a sound, but I would be more guiding them in the right direction of how to produce it well. Because performing gives me the opportunity to show people who I really am and show people what I do through playing music. Ultimately, I'd like to become famous one day for my music. Uh, I'd like to be known everywhere because I want to do great things. Um, I'd like to create my own music, uh, play it and sing it on the piano or play in a band um, on the drums.